Hello beautiful people, welcome back, I'm Anna and today we are talking about yet another masterclass. This is the second review I make, I made one for the Anna Winter masterclass so you can find right here. This time we're diving into Tam France's masterclass. And I wasn't truly familiar with Tam France until Next in Fashion, which is like their, his Amazon series with Alexa Sean, where they're looking for the next big designer. I know he's also famous for being on Queer Eye, which is a Netflix show I want to say pretty much give somebody a whole makeover. He was just not in my radar. So I stumbled upon his class on um, Masterclass and I figure, why not? This is along the lines of what I'm normally interested in, so why not take it? So I took some notes, obviously, like I said in my last video, I am not gonna give you guys all of the information. People are paying for this, it just feels wrong. Tan France is charging for this information as well. I don't feel like I have the grounds to just give it all to you. The thing about this masterclass is that it is both very predictable, this is exactly the type of information you would expect from someone like Tan France, but it's also in some ways it's, it's nice, it's refreshing. Because even though you are hearing the same information you've heard a million times, build a capsule wardrobe, experiment with prints, etc., you are hearing it from somebody that is being very approachable, very very direct in their message. He comes across as somebody you would go have a drink with. Like he's just very chill, very down to earth, but still like what he says is very helpful. But I definitely wanted to touch on a couple things that he said that I thought were really interesting. He says, and I quote, I saw the impact style had on my own self-esteem and thought about how many people would feel better about themselves through this newly gained confidence. I totally can see that, I, I myself, feel a lot better when I'm well dressed, when I'm, I know I'm being perceived as more important when I'm well dressed. So that's not, there's nothing wrong there. I feel like he's very bold in the, his statements. Everybody wants to feel important, everyone wants to feel respected. And speaking of respect, he said another thing that really stuck with me because it's also how I view the way I dress. And he says the first, like the first thing he wants to be when some, when he walks into the room is respected. So I feel the same way about my style and how I look. I first and foremost want people to see me as somebody they should respect. I don't want you to like me. I want you to respect me, which is very different. And it's why I wear things like this. I look respectable. I look like you should probably not mess with me. That's the whole objective there. This talk with me because I feel the same way. So I thought that was an interesting way to put it. I would say there's like five big styling tips that I was able to take from this masterclass. And some of them I was familiar with before. Some of them I thought it was very interesting to hear them the way he worded them. So I'm gonna give those to you guys today. There has been a wave lately of it doesn't matter what rules or magazines say, you just want to have fun with fashion. And yes, you want to have fun, but you also want to look put together. And this is exactly what he says on lesson one. Yeah, it's like the opening lesson. He says, you can have as much fun with fashion as you want, but at the end of the day, the reason you're looking for style, not fashion, is because style is what will get you far. Style is what will get you respected. Style is what will get you to, what will get other people to actually take you seriously. I see so many people just going crazy over a specific trend and they go and they buy everything on that trend. Right now, or a couple months ago maybe, was the cheetah print. Everybody was obsessed with cheetah print. Cheetah print made a huge comeback. And I saw so many of my friends, so many of the people in my circle just rush to the store and buy everything cheetah print. I think that's absolutely insane. Because cheetah print may go out of fashion no may, will go out of fashion within the next six months and you already spent all that money on nothing. I'm just saying, keep it classic, keep it to pieces that you know, you can look at and you know you're gonna be proud of owning 20, 30, 40 years from now. It sounds boring, it sounds cliche, but look at Audrey Hepburn, look at style and fashion icons from the 50s, from the 60s, from the 80s. And just pay attention to the pieces and the colors that repeat in all of those decades and that are still in fashion today. Chances are, it's not a print, it's not a trend. Go for classics. He describes what goes in a men's capsule wardrobe and what goes in a woman's capsule wardrobe, which I thought was very interesting because I always see videos on women's capsule wardrobe, never on guys. So if you're a guy and you want to learn how to dress better, this may be the, the, one of the first places you should look at because he actually, he uses his own wardrobe to explain the male examples. So 
Definitely check it out if you're looking to up your style game. He says most pieces on your basics collection on your wardrobe should be able to be transitioned from day to night. So he takes one dress and he styles it for brunch, he styles it for work, he styles it for dinner, and he styles it for late night drinks. So he pulls off four outfits out of the same exact dress. And I feel like this is something very valuable because so often we get just blinded by what looks great on the mannequin, what looks great on the billboard, what you saw on TV, what you saw your favorite influencer wear, and we don't realize that maybe it just doesn't fit our lifestyle and doesn't fit our wardrobe. Be mindful of where you're spending your money, be mindful of how many times you can actually wear that dress before it's too much. When you're looking at celebrities on TV, when you're looking at a lot of like top influencers, with millions and millions of followers, subscribers, whatever, whatever it may be, those people a lot of the time are not buying their own clothes. They're not purchasing these pieces that you're going crazy over when you see them on them. A lot of the time they're gifted to them. And he says that and he admits that, he's very honest about that, he says that when you see, he says, and I quote, when you see me on this red carpet with this outfit, that was gifted to me, that was, bor that was borrowed from the brand and I'm giving it back the day after. Like, don't go crazy and go buy those pieces if you can't afford them. In order to develop your style and just who you are in fashion, yes, you want to look up to people that inspire you, people that you admire, but know it's a process, know that you can't really purchase everything somebody wears and just call it your style. That's not how it works. You, it's like, There's a lot of trial and error involved. You start by trying out something you liked on somebody else and it may not work on you, it may work on you, but there's only one way to find out. Just try, try, create mood boards. He talked about this as well. Create mood boards create the ideal person that you wish you could be fashion wise and then just be even more specific cut it down into the 10 images that really reflect the style you want to emulate and go from that confidence is the ultimate goal of developing a style of developing a brand that for yourself and by brand, I don't mean selling products under your name, I mean just the brand of you. Who you are, what you want people to think when you walk into a room, how you want to be perceived. You are your own brand. So I definitely agree with this statement. I definitely feel like at the end of the day, it's all about confidence and how you carry yourself. If you're not happy in the best outfit in the world, it's going to show and it's not going to be the best outfit in the world anymore because you're not confident in it. And you're not going to look like you're wearing the best outfit in the world because you're just don't feel it. Confidence in itself is such a hard thing to achieve and it takes a lot of people a lot of time. It took me a lot of time and I have a whole video on that if you guys want to check. Before you... actually no, scratch that. I was gonna say before you create your, your style and develop your style you need to develop your confidence but a lot of people use their style to develop their confidence so scratch that. Do whichever makes sense for you first but just know that they go hand in hand. He gives a lot of really useful information. A lot of it I already, I felt like I already had at least an idea of. Just because I'm really into fashion, you may not be. I'm really into fashion, I'm really into style, I read a lot. I have a Vogue subscription and I go, I literally go through it in two days from the day I get it. It's just, I'm really, really into fashion. But for the average person, I feel like that maybe it's not into fashion, it's not, this is not something that interests them a lot, but they still want to learn how to dress well. I feel like it was a great resource. He talks about mixing prints, he talks about, talks about shopping for your proportions, he talks about how to shop, where to shop, where to find the specific thing you're looking for. He really goes in depth into a lot and I feel like as someone who wasn't really familiar with Tam France before this masterclass, I feel like I'm definitely gonna seek out his work a little more now. I like how approachable and how honest he comes across in this class. Very sweet, very like, he just gives you a very warm vibe, very friendly vibe. You, he feels like you, the guy you could just walk up to at a store and be like, should I get this or this? What do you think? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was useful in any way. And if you're considering buying this masterclass, leave me a, a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I would love to help you guys out if you have any questions. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Take care. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Stay safe. Love you all. Mwah.